reading. Sped up footage used to zoom audience over LA skyline. Coming disaster is punishment for hubris. In case the skyline flyover didn't do it, it's followed by a gratuitous montage of LA landmarks. John Corbett isn't being a charming small town radio DJ and or breaking up with Sarah Jessica Parker in this scene. Max, Mike makes his dog eat eggs next to a piping hot skillet. Oh, what's Jay? Is that a tag or a Rolex? Translation, Rolex outbid tag for the product placement gig. I hate it when that happens. Not me. I love earthquakes, especially at hospitals. Volcano caused by an earthquake. Nerd glasses are nerdy. Damage from this morning's shaker timed at 9.14 a.m. Right after the earthquake at 9.14 a.m., the police get a call about a 9.14 in progress. Coincidence or aliens? Nicorette Gum as character development. Are they holding this press conference in a gymnasium? Without asking these guys to stop shooting for a few minutes? The Metro Red Line workers computer has software built in to track and score their illegal side bets on the epicenter of earthquakes. We interrupt this disaster movie to bring you a supervillain origin story. Where are the others? <coughs> the volcanic gas burned only one side of this guy's face so that it would be dramatic for the audience later. Also, Tommy Lee Jones lets someone else play Two-Face in this scene. Dormant volcano directly underneath Los Angeles somehow went unnoticed for years by every single scientist, geologist, and various nerd in the entire world. That metal door kept rat-killing molten heat at bay? I can't believe he got it babysitting. I can't believe he owns Rummy Cub. Also, how many f***ing globes do you need in this house? Unibrow is uni. It takes a geological event to heat a million gallons of water by six degrees in 12 hours. What is a geological event? Amy uses the vague term geologic events so that Mike can ask what the hell that is and we can get a lesson on plate tectonics and magma. Magma can find one of those fissures and rise up through it. What's magma? Are you f***ing serious? I do know something. Just not with any certainty. Scientists' definition of knowledge is different from the dictionary. What do you say? That's too dangerous. It's man's work and you're just little girlies. I can't let you go down there. I like to, I can tell. This movie definitely needed a romantic subplot between the 28-year-old Anne Hesch and the 51-year-old Tommy Lee Jones. Also, right after Amy makes a remark about not being taken seriously because they're women, they launch right into the She Needs a Man portion of the movie. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Where is the volcano erupts under Los Angeles chapter of this book? Sure, gather samples while crouching down directly over the fissure. This is gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. The gas coming from this fissure conveniently decides not to shift into and bake the entire tunnel so that Amy can survive. This unholy fissure of death just killed my partner. Let's look down into it. So wait a minute, do you mean that while all this shit is going on with the manhole covers blowing their lids and volcanic rocks flying all over the place, that the tunnel Amy was in managed to be calm during all that? Everybody okay in here? How did the conductor survive all those rocks smashing directly into him a few minutes ago? All the looters have to run in the same direction, apparently. Oh no, the dog. Will the little dog make it to safety? If this one dog makes it out, then that will make up for the thousands that didn't off screen. You would've loved this, Rachel. What the fuck, lady? She would have loved seeing people die and suffer and burn? No! Look at it! Keep watching! There's no way they could hear her yelling. And even if they could, are they gonna listen to some random lady shouting in the street? What we wanna do is build a corridor to keep whatever this is out of the it's middle lava. of the water. All right, it's lava. Gonna... Wait, what is this plan supposed to do again? They're gonna lay a bus in front of the lava and then what? Unfortunately, we don't ever find out what this likely stupid plan is since Amy interrupts Mike mid-sentence because he doesn't know what to call the lava. Three, two, one, fire! Were they standing right there while the cops on the other side fired their guns in this direction? This is going to destroy everything it touches! You mean including any buses you might decide to put in front of it? Oh, come on. Also, the other trees are still standing even though they've been sitting in lava far longer. The bus is just deflecting this, okay? The bus isn't doing jack shit. We are dealing with very determined stuff here. Oh, so the lava is alive and sentient? Oh, great. Mark firm. Use your hand. Huh. It's just like Crash, only with more volcanoes. My street's on fire. You gotta get some trucks down here. What street? What street? The one with the smoke coming out of the Stanley right over there? This guy can't believe that the firefighter doesn't know what street he's talking about, even though all of Los Angeles appears to be burning right now. Call LAFD! Tell them there's a fire 500 yards from the Carter Park Station! What did you say, boss? I couldn't understand you while you were running and shouting and while everyone else was running and, you know, over all the general f***ing commotion. Lava melts the biggest human antagonist of the movie and we're supposed to feel bad about it. It takes 20 seconds for lava to melt a man, but it takes several hours for it to knock down these trees unless one of them wants to inconveniently trap people next to a bus. Come on, Cat! Push it over! Not one single person has a f***ing radio in all this mess. How do you coordinate a job like this by yelling? 
when there's all this hustle and bustle and hustle. Do concrete dividers really form an airtight seal? Am I the only one worried about lava leaks here? Come on, let's go. Come on, move, move. Racist cop immediately gets out of the way when a black guy he arrested yells something at him. I'm so glad this racist subplot turned into something positive. Also, this is the fastest racial reconciliation since that very special Fresh Prince episode. See, like this gap here in the concrete. Is that really gonna stop lava or any liquid at all from getting through there? Okay, rock beats scissor and scissor beats paper. I'm not paper. I'm lava. What beats that? My dad. Normally I'd just ding dialogue this bad and move on, but this is so exceptionally terrible that I think I'm gonna have to go the extra step of also saying, what the f*** is wrong with you, Hollywood? There must be thousands of gallons of water being dropped over this entire area. Is this guy really doing a live remote three feet in front of the lava? Premature jubilation. They need some help over on, uh, Stanley. Uh, those houses should be completely gone by now. And wasn't that street getting covered in lava, too? Also, if that neighborhood on a side street was getting covered in lava, how did stopping the lava flow on Wilshire prevent the lava from going further into that neighborhood? Where did you stop the tunnel? We stopped building under the Belvoir Center, La Chenega. Oh my God, that, that's where Cedar Sinai is. That's where Kelly is. Movie attempts to make the huge volcano eruption more dramatic by putting the protagonist's daughter right in the crossfire. Oh, I know that. I sent them all over there along with my daughter. I, I, I don't know. You don't have time for this. Oh, that's a precision drop. That, that, that takes days to plan. Man, I'm with you. It's total bullshit. So you want to just blow up the street and knock down a building in 20 minutes? Down, buddy. No way, babe. A whole lot more than 60 seconds went by since you said 20 minutes were left. These people are strangers, Jay. Are you going to die for them? Jay, answer me. I am answering you, Norman. I sure am glad this movie spent time fleshing out this subplot or else I might not have given a damn. Oh, wait. I still don't. Oh, Oh, so now Mike has a radio. And quite conveniently for the movie, it doesn't work. Building collapses in slow motion in the background while everyone else in the foreground moves at normal speed. Oh, you didn't see that. Mike outruns a collapsing building and somehow tackles the kids far enough out of the way to safety. Unlikely. How neat that is. To be able to survive a building falling on you and have easily removed rubble fall in a pile near you and not on you. Look at their faces. They all look the same. Thanks to the volcano, no one was racist in Los Angeles ever again. Max! Hey, Maxie! Thank God they drove Max all the way out here so he could be with the family at the end of the movie. Also, did they make a special trip to get the dog before they came here? The f*** for? I do. Oh, that phone is done. More reading. Also, suspenseful word crawl takes forever, but tells us everything we need to know as soon as the letter A shows up. Got a reading here. Can you hear us? Can you make a knocking sound again? It sounded like it was over by you. It was. It was two knocks. Bump, bump. That's you banging, thank you. You just want to be sure that it's really you. Mike, it's uh, Chief Sindler on the line. He would like to speak with you. Take a message. Kill me. Those guys are idiots. He knows that. Is that enough time to build a barricade? What I want out of each and every one of you is a hard target search of every gas station, residence, warehouse, farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, or dog house in that area. Why, why is it hot? It's cold, damn cold.